Students, before you study the process of sexual reproduction in humans, let us revise some points. Human beings are advanced animals. Male and female organisms are separate. It means each individual is unisexual. Males produce male gametes called sperms and female gamete is ovum or egg. Fertilization takes place inside the body of the female which is called internal fertilization. Development of the fetus takes place inside the body of the female in the uterus. Then the female gives birth to the young one which is called a viviparous reproduction. In humans, the process of reproduction is controlled by different hormones. After initial growth and development, males and females attain sexual maturity or puberty. This is marked by some important bodily changes that is a secondary sexual character. A. Mammary glands develop in females. Males develop beards and moustaches. Voice in females is pitched higher and in males it becomes hoarse. Reproductive cycle begins in females, etc. Students, let us briefly revise the important events of the process of reproduction in humans through this clip. Male and female individuals produce haploid gametes, namely sperms and ova. The gametes unite to form zygote and later the embryo. Humans start producing gametes on attaining sexual maturity or puberty. In females and males, there are some bodily changes that occur on the onset of puberty. Those changes are as follows. Hair in armpits, hair in genital area or pubic hair, hair on hands and legs. The skin may become oily and may have pimples. Now, let us see the changes that occur in boys. Development of facial hair, cracked voice. The penis may become large and erect. The changes that occur in girls. Breast size increases. Skin of nipples darkens. Reproductive cycle or menstrual cycle begins. All these changes occur from the age of 8 to 14 years. Along with this, there may be hormones secreted by the pituitary gland. The sequence of events during reproduction is as follows. Formation of gametes. Transfer of male gametes into female body during copulation. Fusion of gametes called fertilization. Development of zygote and embryo in the uterus. Nourishment of the young one. Hormones secreted by the pituitary gland. Human male reproductive system. Testes located outside abdominal cavity enclosed in a pouch called scrotum. Germinal epithelium from testes divides by meiosis to produce sperms and produce hormone testosterone. Tubules, red testes paired, vas efferens, epididymis, vas deferens paired, ejaculatory duct paired, urethra unpaired, sperms travel through these ducts and finally reach urethra. Sperms undergo maturation get nutrition and acquire fertilization capacity inside these tubules. Accessory glands, seminal vesicles paired, prostate gland unpaired, Cowper's gland paired. All these glands secrete various fluids that provide nutrition to sperms. They also provide medium for sperms to travel through tubules and on their ejaculation. These secretions and sperms are called semen. Urethra Passage common for discharge of urine and semen. Part of urethra called penis transfers sperms into the female reproductive tract during sexual intercourse. Serves as a common passage for flow of urine and semen. And human female reproductive system. Ovary paired located inside abdominal cavity germinal epithelium from ovaries produce egg or female gametes by meiosis also secretes female hormones oviducts or fallopian tubes paired tubular structures lined by cilia internally free end of oviduct is like a funnel oviducts open into uterus 
ovipotes carry oocyte or female gamete from ovary to uterus it is also the site for fertilization uterus unpaired it is also called womb its wall is highly muscular it is located in the middle of lower abdominal cavity it receives fertilized egg supports development of fetus till delivery vagina unpaired tubular structure acting as passage of uterus to outside it acts as passage for menstrual flow intercourse it serves as birth canal bartwins glands present on each side of vaginal openings secretes acidic fluids for lubrication of vagina and protection against infections Thank you.